Good morning and welcome to Falcon TV News today. It is Thursday, April 15th, 2021. I'm Ken along the rest of the FTV crew. A senior high school student in Iowa has invented medical stitches that change color to let patients know if a wound is infected. 17-year-old Dacia Taylor was named one of the 40 finalists in Regeneron Science Talent Search, the nation's most prestigious science and math competition for high school seniors. Her sutures work by changing color if, if the patient's pH level alters, indicating an infection. pH is one of the most prevalent parts of the wound healing, she said. It changes very quickly, so it's one of the fastest ways to identify infection. She experimented with root vegetables and found that beets change color at the perfect pH point. The beets, the beets provided the perfect dye for her invention, changing from bright red to dark purple when a surgical wound becomes affected. After more than a year of research, Taylor is working, working on getting her sutures pa penetrated she envisions these sutures being used in developing countries where they can save lives and money. Regeneron's cocktail, a combination of two drugs, offered, offered strong protection against COVID-19. For people living with some, inf someone infected with the coronavirus, per its phase three trial, the treatment lessens the likelihood of infection and improves outcome of those who do become infected. In addition, the treatment appears to be potent against emerging variants. The cocktail was given to a former president, Donald Trump, when he became ill with the virus. The company said it will share data with the FDA and request emergency use authorization. Fans to include COVID, pre COVID pre prevention for appropriate populations. There will be a virtual meeting for all senior students interested along with their parent and or guardian today at 6.30 p.m. on Google Meet. The link will be sent out a few days before the meeting. This is for our senior class trip to Virginia Beach next year in May 2022. Contact or see Ms. Kemenosh or Ms. Simons in room 213 or 216 if there are any questions. Casting your worldly desire aside during a pandemic has its challenges. And as the new moon rises over Mecca, Islam's holy city, Muslims around the world begin to officially observe the holy month of Ramadan, welcoming a retreat from human desires to focus on renewing their iman or faith. Ramadan is celebrated by abstaining from food and drink from sunrise to sunset and typically joining in a communal prayer and post-sunset feasting after the last year's Ramadan with its pandemic. Altar observances were masus were shuttered and community gatherings were eliminated. Muslims this year are planning another holiday of modified celebrations as COVID-19 continues to spread. Even as vaccines are distributed of the month of Ramadan is dedicated to worship, charity, and community and runs from April 13th until May 12th this year. The guidance of health officials from the FDA and the CDC to halt their use of Johnson & Johnson's one-shot vaccine recommending the pause out of an abundance of caution because of the rare but dangerous blood clots under the investigation. 
are six cases involving vaccinated women who develop blood clots six to 13 days after vaccination. One woman died and another remains in critical condition while CDC will convene a meeting of the advisory committee on immunization practices this week to further review the cases and assess their potential significance. The 4 p.m. buses will start beginning today then run every Tuesday and Thursday. Students with meetings for clubs or athletic teams will be able to utilize them. Prices for, for some of your favorite things are going up. The big question is how long the price hikes will last. Consumer prices rose 0.6% in March. According to the Labor Department, the sharpest increase in nearly nine years. Higher gasoline prices account for nearly half the increase but prices for hotel rooms, baseball tickets, and haircuts were also higher over the past 12 months. The department's consumer price index has risen 2.6%, including vital food and energy prices. But fundamentally, the jump in prices is coming at a time when businesses are still struggling to keep pace with unexpectedly strong demands. Shoppers are likely spending more freely as pandemic restrictions ease helped by $1,400 of relief payment passed by the by Congress last month, as well as accumulating savings from a year of reduced travel and entertainment. That is for the further straining supply networks that were already stretched thin with traffic ties up at West Coast ports and shortages of steel, lumber, and computer chips. A survey of manu manufactured last month found more than 70% were paying higher prices for raw materials and other supplies. Less than 1% had seen their costs decline. Some of those extra costs will continue to be passed along to consumers in the form of higher prices for everything from churros to huggy diapers. That's all for today. So from me and everyone here at Falcon TV, have a great day.